Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace, if you can find it. Uh, I want to continue briefly about what else go wrong with this body when you begin to age, when you get older. A senior citizen, I'm at the, the last box where you check for age, like 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to... I'm the last box, okay? <laughs> but anyway, what else go wrong with the body is your bones. You get authorized, I do, in the knees. And I'm thinking about these politicians. They don't just sit. I mean, how they hold offices so long? I heard about what you, what others say they're doing. I mean, do they get sick? But they don't even dress themselves. I think about that. They have someone dressing them, giving them their bath. You know somebody is giving the potent his bath. And dressing him every day. That's service. See, they can't relate to you and me. Huh? But this body. So, I don't know. Why, why don't people want to go home? And just relax. Why you keep, they keep coming out the woodwork at 85 and 90 years old. Trying to, you don't need more money. Go on a, a trip somewhere. Play with your great, 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 great grandchildren. Do something constructive. I mean, don't be to the end. Wicked all the way to the end. Don't you get tired? I get tired. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's another thing. You get tired. You get tired. Your, your, your energy is not the same. Your patience is not the same. You don't tolerate the bullshit like you used to either. That's a good thing. But, I mean, your bones change. And that's why if you haven't started at least stretching, try to. I know they, they coming out there anyway. Bulls eyes are on all of our backs. But you're going to have to have some type of mobility to, 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 to travel. You know, even to climb a tree and live in it. You're going to have to be able to move. So, I admonish you to do something to start moving. And I have stopped. I have gotten lazy and like, and my mind be thinking sometimes, what the heck, you know, I'm seven and they getting ready to get rid of us anyway. I might as well go on and eat all the junk I want because I can get addicted and, and very, and, and right now to potato chips. And every now and then I like a swig of pop. I'm addicted to these cheese puffs. I know that shit ain't good for you. I talk about it all the damn time. But I also believe that the water that's come out the fox is affecting my skin. And I tell these uh, physicians who are practicing, you know, where it's all coming from. And they won't comment. It's the air, water, and food. When I see it come out the fox, I want to scream. I thought I could buy a filter from uh, this place that starts with an A to, to clear uh, the filter, the water like you can, the, the water that's coming out the kitchen faucet. But that's cold water you're putting in there, which has less minerals and, and chemicals in it. So it's easier to clean. You're not going to be able to do that in the bathroom where hot water is coming out, very hard water. You're going to have to buy a softener for your house. Okay, and who got shit to do that now? God damn. And then this, this water... Nobody's asking questions about that. The air, water, and food, that's critical. That's your, and like, oh yeah, this comedian, this is one of the things he said. George Carlin, your God-given right to air, water, and food. No, he says your God-given right, the rights that you have in that country. But what about your God-given right to, sh to shelter? Your God-given right to food? Your God-given right to, you know, to clothing. Those are basic things. If you can't do that, you know, that's it. That's it. But here, oh, real quick. This guy, you guys probably heard of him, is Yaki Awaken. He, I listen to a couple of his uh, videos. I always go to uh, your most popular one. I don't care how old it is. I got to get a feel for you there. What you talking about there. And then I'll come up to date and get what you talking about. So I like a couple of things he said. And he was talking about 
Penis shrinkage are at an all-time high. We are under chemical and biological attack. Yes! And no one seems to be talking about this issue. But I've noticed, have you noticed, even with our black young men, I'm telling you, we're different. Like Brock Peters and uh, um, uh, the guy that played uh, Darth Vader. What's his name? Him? Black men in Africa, they have deep voices. And here, too, we used to have deep voices. Not all of us. But it will show up every, more than every now and then. It was prevalent. Now it's not. That's what I'm saying. Something is happening to all of us at the same time. Why is it? I mean, he was talking about small penises and gonads. We're being, I mean, eunuchs. It's easy for people to be confused and now who know what's going on because I think they're getting help. He was saying it's environmental pollutants, unhealthy food, smoking, drinking, tap water. <coughs> we don't know what's in there. I know it's tearing up my skin. I want to scream when it come out. What am I going to do? Get a softener, huh? Uh, uh, deadly cleansing chemicals that's in our uh, uh, chemicals that we put on our face and skin. Some of the soap make my skin. My hands hurt when I wash. What's in that that make my hands hurt after I wash my hands? What, what is that? Huh? It's causing a lot of males, especially uh, melanated male penises, to shrink. Is that what's happening? Within the last decade, 43% of males in the United States between the ages of infancy to adulthood on average has lost centimeters. Sometimes even inches of length, girth of pencil tissue that makes up penis and testicles. What are they doing? Okay. And again, I get this information from YAHKI Awaken channel. I like this particular what he was talking about because he is right. I agree. Nobody is talking about, nobody is paying attention to what is happening hormonally. With men and women. I remember my youngest son told me, and this was in uh, uh, 2004. He had a little uh, party or whatever at his school, junior high. And some little girl he took out, the mother was so worried about her being with him at 14 years old. And they took pictures and everything. I dropped them off at the school and blah, blah, blah. But I asked him about her later on. And he told me she... She liked girls. And this was in 2004. 14 year olds. And they could tell by the baby finger. They locked baby fingers. That lets you know that they are a couple. So what happened to them? Huh? 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 What happened to them? Were they touched? Oh, uh -oh. was it something administered? Huh? Huh? That's come on. It wasn't like that for us. I'm gonna tell you that. It was not. So they'd be glad to get rid of these old baby boomers, you know, old timers like me, because I remember before 1965, before we integrated, when we were to ourselves, before we begged for them to go behind a counter and feed us. I mean, that's why nobody can respect us. Because how dense can you be? They told you they don't like you and you're going to demand that they go behind a wall and bring you something to eat. How bright is that? You seem like an easy candidate to colonize. Easy prey. I still get that vision of the guy, black young man sitting there, somebody's son, pouring milk on his head. What? We didn't have to do that. We could have just started making our own restaurant, eating our own food. And that little girl with all these security, FBI around her with rifles and shit, taking her to school. Do you know the torment she received at that school? It was not worth it. They told us. 
that they wanted us to be separate, just like the Arabs, the Indians, and the Asians. And we could have been just like them, independent, on our own. But we wanted to merge and be gray hybrids. And we getting what we got. And we got what we get. I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, and leave a comment. Subscribe. This is the last one. I appreciate you listening.